Gary Okino here, showing you how to shoot lower scores guaranteed so you can have consistency, power, and more fun. Today we are going to address the number one issue in the short game. I see it all the time, probably given thousands and thousands of lessons just on this concept alone. Uh, and I think there's reasons for it, which I'll explain as we go. But it's really using the wrong motion in the short game and scooping and being too handsy and then on top of that using your body the wrong way so very important myth to dispel right off the bat there are two things that do not happen in the short game one you do not need to worry about your arms and hands following through so for those of you that think you need to follow through this is wrong all this forced follow through is wrong we're going to get out of scooping and lifting and shanking and thinning and fatting and all this ugliness that happens in our short game Second thing that does not happen in the short game, it is not all arms and hands. The body is very dominant in the short game. We think just because we have these small little shots that they're going to be all field based, they're actually body dominant and technique dominant. Very key here. So now, my ball is right off the green in this case. Please know that what we talk about will show you from off the green, then we'll show you from a little farther in a minute. But for right now, my ball is just off the green sitting here in the rough. Number one thing I see for many of you is you're trying to help the ball in the air. You're trying to scoop, you're trying to use your hands too much. Your buddies or your spouse or someone you play with has told you, follow through, follow through. Wrong. What you need to learn is you need to learn how to keep your left wrist or your forward wrist firm at impact. You need to learn how to actually freeze the club right here so that everything's in a straight line. You'll notice from my forearm to my wrist, right down the club shaft, one straight line. I call this the freeze drill. So what you're going to do for starters is learn a freeze drill. You put your weight on the left side or your forward side and then you freeze at impact. Freeze. First thing to learn is actually how to punch the ball. I know that sounds crazy to some of you, especially some of you who like to be the, I call it the follow through police. The minute you miss one, the follow through police come running out of the trees at you. You didn't follow through. Wrong. So again, Punch it a little bit. Learn how to do that. Learn how to keep it firm. You'll hit the ball every time. You heard that, right? Right in the hole. You heard it. <laughs> anyway, now let's get to the next piece that's going to help you do this a little more effectively. Here's how your body works. We're going to take what we've already learned and we're going to build upon it. So we already learned about the freeze drill. Now we are going to take and add in some hip turn with it. So your hips or your core, whatever is the center of your body to you, whatever makes the most sense, actually pulls the club around. It's like you leave the golf club and then use it as a pulley to pull around. That's what makes the follow through. It follows through because your body's pulled it, not because you've done anything independent with your arms and hands. So the way to learn this, it's kind of like rubbing your head and patting your stomach you kind of have to break them up to do them. You don't just start them both at once. You do it like this. You go with the freeze drill first, training the arms and hands, then you step in and you use your hips. Uh, you heard that again, it went in. <laughs> Couldn't do that if I tried. So the key is you start with your arms and hands, then you add in the hip action. And as you can see, it keeps the face perfectly square. It keeps the contact perfect. I made two in a row. How much better does it get on camera, no less? So now you're going to have a great short game by implementing the combination of the freeze drill with the hip action. Popular question I receive is, what do I do when I need to hit a longer shot? The one we just showed you was right next to the green, maybe a couple paces off the green. Now we're back about 30 yards away from the green. The answer is nothing. Nothing's different other than you just make the same motion and go a little faster with your hips or a little more complete. But the same uh, set of criteria applies where we're practicing our freeze drill first, holding firm and impact with the left wrist, freezing, and then adding the hips. So it'll look something like this when I actually go to hit the ball. It'll be practice the freeze, then add the hips, boom, right on the green. 
but this one didn't go in. So two out of three is going to have to suffice. It's very simple. Same technique the whole way up. It's going to help you a ton with your consistency and with your, um, your shots. Enjoy your practice. I look forward to you having great results with your short game. Be on the lookout for your next video, which will be in your inbox tomorrow.